Hello Apples, welcome back. I am pretty late on this and I'm pretty mad at myself for being pretty late on this. I'm saying I'm saying pretty late. I mean I'm just not that late. Um still late for me for my got seven boys. I try to get them as soon as they come out. Um <clears throat> this is Mark's My Life. His last song uh was la was it called Last Breath? I'm pretty sure it's called Last Breath or Breath. I think it was called Brett. I don't know. Something like that. I play all the time. It's so, so good. His voice. You know, he's the one person I did not think was going to go for the um, emotional singing way. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I thought he was going to go rap. Just like Bam Bam. I never thought Bam Bam would go pop either. They surprised the hell out of me. Freaking Yu Gi Oh went R&B, which I kind of figured Yu Gi Oh was going R&B. JB R&B too. Jackson's always had his own label. Jackson's hip hop all the way. Um, Young J and Jin Young dramas for them, but they also do singing too, and their voices are just angelic as shit. Um, <laughs> Young J's vibe was a vibe for sure. Uh, but Marks, man, his stuff is so emotional, and I love how yeah, like. Yu Gi Oh's and Marx's are very emotional, very emotional songs for me. Anyways, uh, and JB's, well, not his, not his title tracks. Title tracks are like really, really fun, but like his, some of his B sides were. Um, uh, I'm just stalling because he killed me in his last song. I, I know it's called My Life, so I guarantee it's gonna be another emotional song. Also, I saw kind of like the little thingy at the top. What are they called? Thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't even think of it myself. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> yep, there's a piano. Ooh, is he, was he buried? That looks like dirt. Oh no, what is that? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, the titles are on. Ooh, truth. Oh, his tattoo says truth. I'm gonna cry this is oh no he's technically saying on the outside everybody thinks I'm okay but on the inside I'm just struggling oh no oh god this is what I was this is what I was scared of oh no this is what I was scared of it's probably one of the reason why I put it off oh no this is so good already truth oh he's speaking the truth look at myself oh Right? That's easy to say when you're looking from the outside in, you know, like, you see one thing, but, you know, it's, what you see is sometimes a, dis like, a, a disguise. Like, it's, like, you're just seeing what you want to see, you're not actually seeing what's there. It's like deception, you know? The outside, <sighs> I never change, loving myself, it's all pretend. And I might never again I tried everything to please you I forgot to think of me too I woke up and realized That this is my life Right? Oh, please get happier And every time that I feel hopeless I fuck myself up to keep on going And I need Oh a lot of people go through this. You're trying to be somebody you're not, whether it's a friend or in a relationship, family even. I, honestly, me with family. This is me with family. Like, you try to be something that they want you to be, but you know, it's in in the end, it's your life, and you need to be what makes you happy, not what everybody else wants you to be to make them happy. Oh God. Oh, this is good. Loving myself, it's all pretend. And I might never again try everything to playlist, but I didn't say that already. I forgot to think of me to woke up and realize that this is my life. Oh, look at the rose in the. Look, 
he was trying to look it's like he was trying to write everything down but like nothing that he wrote was you know true and so he crumbled it all away I fuck myself up to keep realized this is, oh my god he looks good too right you have to sometimes I wish I was different someone would listen it's hard to explain it I feel you know I understand I understand it turned to an issue cause I was mistaken I'll leave you alone Oh, oh god i'm sitting here crying but damn if he does not have his shirt open and he looks like this do you, you guys see what i'm seeing because i see what i'm seeing and i i'm losing it over this guy right now <laughs> you see the contrast too like when he's wearing white then he's wearing black and then the rose is on fire i love that it's so artistic in this song. I'm pretty sure he wrote these lyrics. I'm pretty sure he wrote these lyrics. Because this is... I guarantee he wrote these lyrics. Mark, you look good. This is my and I love his voice. He's come a long way with his voice. Oh, 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 whoa. Did, oh, did you hear? That's like a, a orchestra? Oh, the white paint coming down the piano. Oh, the piano. Oh, he's, oh, he has no shirt on. Oh, look. Look, he's in all black and everything is white. Oh my God, if that's not imagery, I don't know what it is. Such a metaphor. Oh, it's like his sorrow. Oh, look, he's, oh my God, you look so good. Don't paint yourself white. Oh my God, you look too good. Oh, look at that. Oh no, don't end. What? Oh, Mark produced this too? Yes. He produced it and wrote it. I know he wrote this song. Executive produced by Mark. Wait. I know he wrote this. I know he wrote this. I know I know I know it. I know it. I know it. I know he wrote this. I know he did. There's there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. I know he wrote this. I was not expecting that. How it just instrumental at the end and it just went off like that to see what you wanted to see like he gave us at the end to think what we wanted you know like he didn't give us the end of the story like he showed us like all the imagery see right here he gave us the last course let me go back let me go here saying like he never realized it was his life and then like it, it left us to think you know did he overcome it or not you know like does he still feel this way but I feel like he finally realized at the end because you know like he gets painted in white and at the end how he's just oh sitting there oh, oh his nails are black I just noticed that seeing like all fades oh i think that 
Oh, so good. Is there anything else, actually? No? Okay. <clears throat> this was so freaking... Ow, this was so good. Um, I feel like... This song was so deep. I, I, if you did not notice, I cried in the beginning. Oh my god. Embarrassing. But, you know, the song hit. It was really, really emotional. And a lot of people could probably connect with this song. Um, you know, like... You can put on a front, you know, for everybody. I'm pretty sure everybody's been at one point in their life. Um, but, you know, you never know what anybody is feeling or thinking. And he just said, I realized, I never realized, you know, it's my life, right? So you need to take advantage of that and make yourself happy. Get rid of all the stuff that isn't making you happy. And don't try to change for somebody. You know, don't try to make somebody else happy. It's your life. You make yourself happy. Your happiness comes first. <clears throat> I feel like a... That at the end, like, you know, like, he didn't go for another, he didn't go for another verse or the chorus again. He just, like, lets you think, like, with all the imagery, like, the, um, oh, that was so good. Oh, so pretty. It was so artistic at the end, too, with the paint all over his body, the the white, you know, with, like, the, the dark background. And then he had dark clothes on and the white background. Oh, my God. Just so much up for interpretation. It's just however you guys interpret it. Uh, I think that's what he wanted. Um, with this, but uh, anyways, apples. If you guys like my reaction, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.